eh, nos encontramos aquí en el Distrito Federal con un gran, gran artista. Eh, todos sus materiales discográficos han sido un gran, gran éxito. Ya está preparando el nuevo, está de visita aquí en la ciudad y tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con Kanye West. First of all, it's an honor to talk with you. Thank you very much for the time of this interview. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, talking talking about uh, graduation, it was it, it was a great great album. Now you're preparing the new one, you're ready with the new one. But before that, if you could tell me the bigger lesson that graduation gave it to you. Well, I learned how to make songs that <laughs> just connected with people and with big venues and. I talked about things that people were really going through, but I felt like on this new album, I'm going even more into just real life reality. You know, I always felt like I, I rap from a, a real person's perspective, but before my albums, would I would talk about a lot of different labels and materialism and all that, and I still like that, and that's fun to do that sometimes, but on this new album, I broke down all of that and just talked about real life joy, pain, hurt, loss, gain, And um, I think it's going to connect with people. So. Cool. And, and, and talking about 808s and the heartbreak, uh, I know you did it in Hawaii. How much fun was it? Oh, it was great. Well, you know, when you when you go to Hawaii, you get to just zone out and and soak in the sunsets and the water. And we go play basketball every day and uh, playing ball again because I used to play ball in high school. It put me in a really good zone to make music very quickly because it was no time to do to think about stuff. It's just reflexes. You go, you just shoot the ball. It's one idea, and that's where I would go into the um, you know the studio. I just shoot, and it'd be one idea. This is what I feel. Okay, good. Let's go. You know, instead of just scrutinizing things and tweaking it so much to the point where you take away the magic from it. You know, so this I feel like it has its own magic and its own vibe, and people connect with it. Yeah. Now, uh, last year uh, you were touring with uh, monsters in music like like you two, like the Rolling Stones. What could be the most important thing that you learned from them? Oh my God! Um, when I went on tour with Bono, the first thing he said is, "Nobody from your world has ever figured this out." And it's talking about like 20 years in the game, 30 years in the game, complete stadium songs. And uh, I was like, "I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna make stadium records." Like. Uh, I'm so excited to perform these new songs, to to have people hear them, and I, I'm I'm excited at the the concept of uh, the next 20 years of my career. I almost feel like 808s and Heartbreak. This is my first album because it's a it's a new um, it's a new frontier. We're going where no rapper has gone before. Now, now, talking talking precisely about that, uh, you remember me a lot, uh, Michael Jackson, not because of the music necessarily, but because you're changing the way of hip hop. How much of important is Michael Jackson in your music? Well, he's he's my idol, and he is the he represents the greatest things you could do in music uh, and influencing people the way they dress, the way they dance, the way things work in the club. So we study, you know, what he's done with Off the Wall, what he did with Thriller, and we always use that as examples. But of course, you know, it's 20 years later, 25 years later. So there's, uh, you know, the internet is here. It's more independent artists. So you have to adjust to this new world. But, you know, so many artists, and this is not a knock to them, but this is reality. So many artists, I think they want to be Michael Jackson, but they act like Michael Jackson. The only way you can ever be Michael Jackson is you have to be yourself, you know, and just it, it's just that. But I think my first Michael Jackson moment uh, so that solidified in history, like this is an actual Michael Jackson moment, because to say Michael Jackson moment in music is almost like saying genius moment. Like. <laughs> The, the first true Michael Jackson moment I had was uh, the Stronger Glasses from last year, that that transcended the way like the Michael Jackson glove transcended, so, yeah. And now, and now talking precisely about uh, Be Yourself, now you're a, not just a hip hop ar artist, you're a, a worldwide uh, pop star artist, a mainstream artist, and when that happened, most of the time the music industry trying to tell you, you cannot be real anymore, you have to fake everything and make poses, and you're not doing that because uh, you're real and you do whatever you feel. How hard is to deal with that situation? Um, it, it's not hard at all because I, I don't care. You know, I'm just gonna do me. I'm, I'm famous, but I'm not a celebrity. It's like, I don't act like a celebrity at all. I'll just go down. You might see me like riding my bike <laughs> down downstairs or something like any given moment. So it's cool. Yeah. 
Okay, the, the last question. Um, I always got my attention about the dropout bear that you use in every cover in your albums. Um, who came with the idea of putting uh, this bear in, in, in the different covers? Oh yeah, I came up with that idea. I like I bounce ideas off of people and I have a great team around me of creative, really stylish, uh, innovative people and uh, I'll funnel their ideas sometimes like it was my idea originally to have the bear with the head on it as the cover but then it was uh, uh, Don's idea, Don Crawley's idea to have Mirakami do the bear on the last uh, album and then it was uh, Willow Perron, another person that works for me's idea to work with Vanessa Beecroft who was the artist who, I don't know if you heard about this listening session three days ago where we had the 40 naked women. No, no, no. Yeah. It was 40 naked women. Yeah, it was an installation, and it represented the the nakedness represented the nakedness of the music because the music is so uncut and so pure that I wanted to represent that visually. So uh, you'll see, like if you go to my blog, if you go to KanyeWest.com, and some imagery we put up, and we're also going to release a video uh, next week of um, some of the footage from that with a brand new song off the album, also. Well, I, I will check it, Kanye. Thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Your music is amazing. Uh, congratulations because of that. Y ya lo vieron, hermanos, un gran, gran, gran artista. Él es Kanye West. Vamos a continuar con Manuel Cami. Estamos aquí en Soundcheck. Now, we're gonna. Tenemos todavía otro. We're gonna. Yeah, yeah, hermanos, hermanos, lo logramos, hemos llegado con un gran, gran artista, yo soy muy fan, y vamos a platicar precisamente de lo que estamos platicando, Kanye West, yeah, man. man, sorry about the intermission, uh, we're totally live right now in the show, what do you think about our teletransportator? Oh, it's crazy, <laughs> I don't know what a teletransportator is, but yeah, it must be good. You travel around the, the, the time, around the time, and now we're talking in the show right now about... Um, the bedrooms that uh, we that we have when we were uh, teenagers. Can you describe your bedroom when you were a teenager? I wish I could say I had a car bed, but I never <laughs> had a car bed, so I had a regular bed. But do you have posters? Do you collect something? No, nah, I never put that many posters up on my wall. I just had toys and arts and crafts. I had a lot of pencils and papers because I used to draw all the time. Uh, uh, how change uh, the way you see art because of that early star painting that, that when you were really kid? Well, I, I'm a fan of uh, of great great art, but I I don't really buy into who's popular and who's not. I just like what I like, and if it connects to me, it connects to me, whether someone's famous or not. Mm. Now, if you if you have to say something that you remember like really fast of your bedroom when you were a teenager, what what would it be? I had a really small TV. You got a really small TV? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's what it's it's good that you remember that. Yeah. Cool, Kanye. Thank you very much. I have to go back to the show. Take care, hermanos. Pues ya ya lo vieron, ya lo vieron. Ya platicamos acerca del cuarto de Kanye. Pues regresamos, regresamos al estudio. Yeah.